On March 3rd, Japanese shipbuilder Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Nagasaki launched Mogami, the first in class 30 FFM, a next generation frigate for the Japan Maritime Self Defense Force. Hello. While another shipyard, Mitsui ENS Shipbuilding, located in Okayama, launched the second ship of the class, Kumano, back in November 2020. Mogami is the first ship of the 30 FFM class with pennant number one. The vessel is named after Mogami River, located in Yamagata Prefecture, Japan. According to the JMSDF, the Mogami River is said to be the Mother's River because it brings many blessings to people. 30FFM is a next-generation multi-mission frigate designed for the JMSDF. A total number of 22 frigates are expected to be procured for the JMSDF. According to MHI, the 30FFM frigate will have a full load displacement of about 5,500 tons with a length of 132 meters and a beam of 16 meters. It will have a maximum speed in excess of 30 knots. The crew complement will be quite low at about 90 sailors, indicating a high level of automation on board. For more details about the 30 FFM, here's an interview which Naval News recorded during the Sea Airspace Defense Show with Atsui Yoshioka, Senior Project Manager of the Next Generation Surface Ship Project at MHI. What is this uh, new project? Uh, this is a uh, Japanese Navy's uh, JMS uh, new frigate project uh, started uh, two years ago. This is our prototype uh, model proposed to our Navy. Is the design finalized and are you starting to build it already? Yes, uh, last, uh, last October we got the contract for production of two frigates, so we are now in detailed design stage and going to a uh, production uh, design stage. And we will start uh, steel cutting uh, this September, yes. And delivery of the ship to JMSDF is expected from for, where, for uh, when? Yes, uh, delivery is expected March 20, uh, 2022, yeah, about uh, three and a half years later. What are the main features of the design? Our main key feature is, uh, you can see uh, this hull structure itself. This is a very low uh, radar cross-section uh, design and also uh, uh, needs uh, some speed, more than 30 knots. So we uh, propose a Kodak system, combined diesel and gas turbine propulsion, uh, one uh, gas turbine and two diesel uh, type. And also uh, our Navy requested us uh, very size of crew, around 90 uh, crew size. So we uh, propose a 360-degree circular CIC, so they can do anything in CIC other than uh, combat management. They can do uh, uh, machinery and electric plant uh, control, damage control, XCOM controls, uh, such on. Uh, to come back to the CIC, what are the main benefits of uh, 360 degrees CIC? Yes, as I said, uh, they can do anything in CIC. So usually they have uh, two or four displays for combat system management. But they should do uh, damage control, uh, machinery control, extra control. So we put a, a 360 degree uh, all around view video walls so that uh, they can display anything they want to see. So using uh, cruising, they can use uh, that uh, 
you can they can see uh, outside you know information and if a uh, damage happens they can switch to the damage control displays when uh, under com uh, under combat operations they can switch to uh, usual you know combat system uh, displays in addition this ship design is the first major surface combatant that Japan is actively promoting for export